Hello everyone, welcome on back to the channel. Uh, today I've got another unboxing video. Picked up a few things from Bass Pro Shops. Some lures that are new uh, for me this year. Some stuff that was new coming out at the end of last year that I hadn't got my hands on yet. Some stuff that's been out for a little while. Um, I also haven't got to try that I wanted to uh, put the test for you guys this year. Let's go ahead and crack into the box and see what we got. You'll notice uh, that it's going to be pretty heavy on one specific brand here. Uh, first off, I needed to uh, re-up on some fishing line, some braids. So I got some 20-pound uh, neon suffix 832. Uh, I've tried a lot of different braid, and I think I've landed on suffix 832 being my favorite. And then I also picked up... Uh, that's more for my spinning setups and then kind of my standard top water line, some 30 pound in low vis green. So re upped on that. And then to get things started off. I picked up one of the Chatterbait Big Blades from Z-Man. These are supposed to be a harder thumping, larger blade, kind of like your Colorado blade on a spinnerbait. This is the chartreuse in white and orange color. I think Berkeley refers to this as the coleslaw color. See, it's got that nice bright orange blade. Should be good for earlier in the spring. And they're kind of on that orange and red bite. Let's see if the package can see this a little better. Real nice skirt there. As you can see, it's a much larger blade than the normal chatterbait has. Decided to throw this one around. I'm sure that's going to put off a lot of vibration. Also picked up another one in black and blue as well. And then I, going kind of the opposite direction, I got a couple of the Chatterbait Mini Maxes. I've used a couple of the Chatterbait Minis in the past, but I hadn't tried the newer Mini Max. It's supposed to have a little bit better uh, vibration, be a little bit more compact. This is something I'm going to use uh, if I need to downsize. Or uh, I figured it would be a good one to use for targeting smallmouth as well. This one's in the bluegill color. Got some really nice purples, green pumpkin, and orange there. Go ahead and take this one out of the package. As you can see, this has got a much smaller hook on it. More compact downsized head, and of course that mini blade as well. And then I also got one of those in black and blue. And then as you guys know, one of my favorite chatterbaits is the cross-size chatterbait. Also from Z-Man. So I picked up a couple more of these in a couple colors I didn't have. The Pearl Ghost, which is basically just their white. And then the Green Pumpkin as well. Great thing about the 
cross eyes is it comes through cover a lot better than a lot of other chatter baits um, it's got these hard plastic uh, weed guards here that help keeping it from rolling over uh, around wood also picked up uh, for some downsized Ned rigs the finesse shrooms I believe these are the yeah one fifteenth ounce and green pumpkin that's a five pack there and then it'll be a couple months before I can use these come top water time but I had to try out the new Hellraiser chatterbait this is a unique top water lure with this uh, blade on the back. This is in the bone color and I also picked up one in black as well. Really excited to try these out. And then the last thing I got here, I plan on getting a few more of these, but uh, Bass Pro didn't have a lot of the colors that I wanted. Uh, this is the Money Badger from Berkeley. This is the 6.25 size. So this dives 9 to 11 feet, weighs a third of an ounce, it's 2.5 inches. Nice downsized, good cold water crankbait. So I'm excited to give this one a try as well. This is in the black and silver color. You can see it's got a little bit of a lavender belly, that chrome side, and the black top. So yeah, guys, that was a few things that I picked up here from Bass Pro Shop. Some new things to try out for the season. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's giveaway time. Thank you again so much for all the people who have uh, commented on the video uh, and the additional subscribers that have come on. I think we're at about 417 uh, now. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the support. Real quick, again, I want to go through uh, the baits as far as what we have in the giveaway. So here's what we have up for grabs. Uh, we've got a 6 cents Crush Mini 25, a small body medium diving crankbait, a Crush 100X, a little bit of larger body square bill. From 6 cents, we've got the 6 cents Vega Frog in white. Uh, we've got a six cents hybrid jig. Uh, we've got some exopod from Biospawn. We've also got a vicious fishing spin doctor spinner bait. We've got some spear point hooks. Some plasma tail worms from Biospawn. And some Sakoshi bugs from 10,000 fish. So that's what's up for grabs. I'm going to go ahead and get the drawing set up. So we're going to go into the ran YouTube random comment picker. I'm going to go ahead and paste the link in there. We're going to include replies to comments. And then I'm going to exclude myself. problem here to confirm so we're going to go ahead and get YouTube comments so it looks like we have a total of 46 comments you guys can see the URL there for the video thank you guys so much for all of those who commented to enter the giveaway so on the count of three we'll go ahead and pick a winner one two three
And looks like the uh, winner is William Ward. William, you said, please enter me. Well, you were entered. Uh, and you made a comment about the uh, guitars in the background. A man of many talents, you said. I really appreciate those words of kindness, William. Send me an email at hooserhooksetter at gmail.com. We'll get some address information, get you verified, and I will get your prize sent out to you. For those of you who didn't win, don't worry. We're going to be doing another giveaway soon when we hit 450 subscribers. So just got a few more subscribers to get us there. The way that you can help out with that is to make sure you leave a like on this video and continue to share these videos out with as many people as possible so we can get this in front of as many new eyes as possible. Again, guys, I really appreciate all the support, and I'll see you on the next one.